Hi there, today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going on a scavenger hunt of Brisbane. Um, we've got the train in, and this is the easiest way to do it. So we've got the train into Central Station. Uh, we're at Central Station now, and we'll uh, head down to the start point on Ann Street. Should be fun. See you later. We've just popped into Anzac Square, which is a beautiful garden area. And I'll just swing the camera around to show you. So we've stopped here for our lunch. Let me just show you this. That's the memorial. There's the gardens. Here's Robert having his lunch. I'll just show you this um, sculpture behind me that's in the square. And if you look closely, you'll see it's all names. And these are actually, there's Mount Cotton. You can just see there, Mount Cotton. It's all the place names, Mount Gibbs. And there's Robert just having his water, giving us a smile and a wave. We haven't got sausages today. Um... So what we did was we called into the Woolworths, Woolworths Metro uh, to see what they got uh, sort of after the lunch rush. And we've got quite a few good deals. We've got a chicken cob salad, $3. Or well, $3.52. Uh, some cheese and crackers, $3. Uh, what's $7.15, so that's a, good, that's a good saving. Actually, the chicken salad was $11, ordinarily. Yeah. And what did you get, Al? So I got uh, a creamy crunchy salad kit with dressing, spring onions and walnuts. So that was that was also reduced from 550 to 160. This is obviously because it's weekend and the work but is it's past the lunchtime. It's past lunchtime. And then I also got which <laughs> I'm going to see what these are like. It's actually two pre-packed hard-boiled eggs to go. This is where we start our tour of Brisbane scavenger hunt, see the sights thing. Go Lions! Go Lions! So here we are at the Brisbane City Hall. Now due to height restrictions imposed on the surrounding buildings, for decades this clock tower, if you look up, was the city's tallest structure. But then, not only were other buildings allowed to build higher, Brisbane City Hall started sinking. Oh gosh. Um, perhaps the affordable swamp land they built atop was not the wisest location. So this was built on top of swamp land. There you go. In the square in front of City Hall, there is a statue of a man riding a horse. What's his name? Let's go to the man riding the horse and see. It's George V. Can I just tell you? It said there, George V, 1910 to 1936. And I thought, this king is never 26. Come and have a look at him. <laughs> and I thought, he was never 26. And then I realized, obviously, that was the length of his reign. <laughs> However, Alison's first guess was <laughs> Don Quixote. I have no idea why a statue of Don Quixote will be in Brisbane City. I just thought in King lost... George Square. King George Square. The clues in the name. I just thought it looked like Don Quixote on the horse. What's the next clue? <laughs> Oh, you may not have to worry about crocodiles, but there are a few hungry guards in front of Brisbane City Hall. What are they? Well, I know, I've just been hugging one. We know Lions. that. Lions. Go Lions. Go Lions, there we go. We got that one. If you want to go That's past... a reference to the Brisbane 
AFL team called the Lions. Go Lions. And the AFL final is actually tonight. The massive final. Huge final. Very exciting. Grand final even that. one might call it. That's it, the grand final. <laughs> One generation's bargain became another generation's multi-million dollar restoration project. So yes, although it was built on the cheap on a swampland, obviously once it became, once it started sinking, they needed to um, fix the foundations. Let's hunt for the treasure. Look for the treasury building. These walls could tell you Brisbane's earliest history. The architect way back in the 1880s foresaw an expanding city and so the treasury was built in stages over decades to accommodate a larger and larger government body. So it wasn't all built together. So um, we have to find it. Let's go and see. We don't want to unlock directions because we lose points. Uh, but we know where this one is anyway. This is the casino. Yes. This casino on George Street. Okay, let's go. It's called the Treasury Casino. Although they are building a new casino and the Treasury Casino will be used for something else, but um, that's not finished yet. So we'll head off towards the Treasury. That's down George Street. On the way to the Treasury Building, we just thought we would point out that in the heart of the city, we do have these spectacular high rises. Um, as modern as any city in the world to rival, but we do have nestled between them. We've retained some of these very beautiful old churches. Um, there's several of them along the way and some old buildings that have been kept as pubs and we'll show you them along the way if we come across any more. So as well as my lion friends at the town hall, I've now found some lovely kangaroo friends. Here. He's having a chill out on the bench next to me and he's got his other buddies and these are all made out of scrap car parts. Amazing. This is the treasury building where the casino currently is across the road and in the back you can see the building where they're building the new casino. In front of the Treasury building, there's an art installation right round. Lots and lots of these um, metal balls, these cylinders. If you just look, if you just pan round, Robert, you'll see there's more here and there's more here. And they're all made from a common kitchen utensil. If you get up close, come and have a look with me. And you can see they are all vegetable steamers installations but they're really effective they look really cool let's get on to the next question who has the horrible job of governing the Sunshine State um, Gold Coast and the rest of Queensland well it's the it's the um, Queensland Parliament and we're going to go to their house government Parliament building which is this way right now let's go So this is Parliament House. This is where our next call is. Do we have the clue? Yeah. Or the info? I know, it's just having a good nose then. Yeah. This building has so many archways, you'd think they'd eat archways for breakfast. I don't know who writes this stuff. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. How many empty archways do you see along Alice Street specifically? So which is Alice Street? Is this so, Alice Street? No, this isn't Alice Street. That is Alice Street over there. The street that goes down here. Parliament House. Foundation stone laid 14th of July 8, 6, 1865. The building was completed in 1868 and the architect was Charles Tiffin. So how many archways are there? I count 14, not including the arched windows. So I'm hoping they don't include the arched windows or there's not a sneaky arch somewhere that they've they've snuck in. So I'm gonna put 14. Do you think we should walk down to the end and see if that one down there is an arch? Looks like there might be an yes. archway down the end. No, we got it. Okay. We counted them. Yay, we got 209 points. Next challenge, take a photo. The challenge was to take a photograph 
of a teammate expressing themselves at Speaker's Corner. And here we are, the um, Parliament House, Botanic Gardens, and this is Speaker's Corner. Dedicated by the Honourable John Mickle MP, Speaker of the Le Legislative Assembly of Queensland, 22nd of May 2010. So the original Parliament was held in a former convict barracks, but it's difficult to run an honest government in such a setting. So they moved here in 1866, and the government has been fair and honest ever since. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, next. Let's escape the busy bustle with a trip to the pretty city botanic gardens. At one time there was a zoo here and bands would play along the water. Yeah, it must explain that the botanic gardens actually do run along the water. It's a beautiful setting. Now people come here for a romantic stroll or a family picnic. Would you like to get romantic, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> At the Botanic Gardens. Whereabouts in the gardens do we need to go though? Let's see. We're in the middle of the Botanic Gardens and I keep putting in, we're here, we'll check in and it keeps saying you're not quite there yet. This is a little bit more challenging. We're not actually sure where in the Botanic Gardens we're supposed to be. We can get a clue, but um, we lose points, but as yeah. time is going on, we might need to go for a clue. So we're going to go to the water's edge, and it's yeah. there. <laughs> I'm absolutely zoomed in. We're going to go to the water's edge and see if that gets us any nearer to where we're supposed to be. Here's some local wildlife in the fountains in the Botanic Gardens, which are absolutely beautiful today. Hopefully there's not too much reflection there some eels and some ducks all swimming quite happily together. We're down by the river now and um, so are a lot of other people and some boats. Now these people are gathering probably for river fire to watch the fireworks. Every year Brisbane has a festival called River Fire and there are various things go on during the course of the week but it, on the Saturday night they have a big fireworks display and um, fly over with some military aircraft and bombers and F-111s. Um, haven't had it for a couple of years because of Covid but uh, it's back again today so people are gathering waiting for the, the display. And we can see the Story Bridge just you know, perhaps need to duck down a little bit and show the Story Bridge over there. Another great icon of the city. So eventually we have found it. What we're looking for, the Walter Hill Fountain. Um, this was, what was this? So this was originally a, uh, a fully used uh, water fountain and it is the first water fountain in the state of Queensland. In the state of Queensland? Yes. Wow. What yes. year was that? And it was the fair part of the first recirculated water supply in Brisbane. 1867. Okay. Yeah, 1867. So. And that's our next port of, port of call, which is in the middle of the Botanic Gardens. While you've got the camera out, just show this magnificent tree that um, it's been held up by few extra structures but that is just one tree. What was Walter Hill, the guy who this fountain was named after, what was his job? I have no idea, to be honest with you I'd never even heard of him until today. But you've just read the plaque, did you not read it all no. the way down? Okay so he was the garden's curator. Oh. Yes, the very first curator of these gardens, let me just put it in and check. <laughs> Our challenge continues with the trees and plants you see are some of the oldest species in Australia. Much of what you see today was planted in the early 19th century. How old is that? The question asks. 
Take the oldest person on your team and add seven years. It's that old. <laughs> These like Christmas cracker things. So I'm 41, so that would be 48. There you go. Everything's 48 years of age. Stop laughing, Robert. That sounds right. <laughs> okay, continue. Next location. Next location is... Look for the Winter Garden. Now, actually, the Winter Garden has nothing to do with gardens whatsoever. It is a shopping complex in Ann Street. Um, there's nothing wintry about it either. If you want a touch of winter, try feeling the air conditioning. Yes, okay. But actually, when it is winter, when it's Christmas time, it's spectacular. They do a fantastic winter wonderland down there. So let's head off to... The Winter Garden. The Winter Garden. Ann Street. Okay. No, Queen Street. Yes. Queen Street Mall. Queen Street. That's okay, right. let's go. Okay, off we go. We knew about the Sunday afternoon um, picnic and gigs down at South Bank uh, on every Sunday because we've done those before. But what we didn't know is we have gigs and picnics, a free event here on the last Saturday of every month in the afternoon till 4 p.m. Enjoy a picnic, food trucks, and free live music in the City Botanic Gardens. That's something we might do on another day out. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. sounds like a good day out, especially as summer coming up. Yeah, yeah. We were saying before we have spectacular sky rise buildings. As good as any in the developed world. Here's a shot of one. In Brisbane, they're building a new rail, a cross river rail. Um, and this is in the city. This is one of the stations in the city. So we're just walking through the, the tunnel now. So the sound will be a bit weird. But um, a few of the things they found is that building Brisbane's new underground means digging deep beneath the city at a variety, at a variety of locations. During demolition, excavation, and removal of rubble from the work sites, items of archaeological significance have been uncovered and are now on show at the Cross River Rail Experience Centre. So that might be um, that might be one to look at. So there's a Chinese coin minted between 1644 and 1661, um, aromatic toothpaste glazed spot, cannonball more than 150 years old, and a clay tobacco pipe. Chinese coin's an interesting one because they seem as they, it's Australia, the, the Europeans, Brits came to Australia in 1770. Um, but that was like a hundred and something years before, uh, before the, the Brits came here. So, But the Chinese came, they, they brought the Chinese in for labour. So although the coins are old, they, they would have been brought in probably by the Chinese migrant workers came in to help build railways and, and the like. But that was minted 1644 and 1661. Yes, yeah, so the so coins would already be 200 years old. Exactly. <laughs> when yeah. they brought them here, yeah. So this is the Queen Street Mall, the bustling shopping heart of Brisbane. You'll find all sorts of shops down here. In fact, every shop that you could want. Every shop you could want. Down the Queen Street Mall, there are restaurants and bars like this one, where you can stop and eat. It's usually music um, going on in the background. This is the Winter Garden. Here's the facade, the uh, very pretty ironwork facade of the Winter Garden, which was our next port of call. The challenge here is to count the number of butterflies on the facade, um, but it does give you a range, so I think we'll probably be okay. The options only went up to 19, and it's 19 or more. I'd That's... already counted up <laughs> about 35. <laughs> so we got that one right. Um, next location. Next location. We have to find Post Office Square next. Back down Queen Street Mall. Queen's Plaza, just off the Queen Street, is home to all the high quality brands like Dior, Saint Laurent, Fendi, Chanel, Burberry I think is in there as well, Louis Vuitton. 
This is Post W Square. Underneath, down the stairs, usually is the food court. Um, it's closed up now, unfortunately, because of the time of day. And then there is a grassed area where uh, it's nice to come and just uh, chill out, have some lunch if you're working in the city. Just come and sit down here, find a space on the grass. The grass isn't looking too good today, actually. It's looking, looks a bit bare. Now, do you know why it's called Post Office Square? Because the post office is across the road. No, it's because it's a square, like a postage stamp. That's why it's named. Who square. told you that? <laughs> they have told me. That's the most ridiculous <laughs> reason for naming somewhere. Look, alternatively, here's the post office. My <laughs> Seriously, my um, my explanation is far better. There's the post office. This, this is the square opposite the post office. <laughs> Makes sense to me. So it says we have to just we have to see who the figure in the centre of the square is. It's either Sir William Glasgow, General John Lipton, Jonathan Brisbane, or Sir Robert Bloom. Now I'm guessing he looks like he's in a military jodhpurs and military boots. I'm going to go for General John Lipton. Who are you going to go for? Well, I don't think a general would be delivering mail. So, as this is Post Office Square, I suspect it's something to do with the mail. So, I am going to go with Sir William Glasgow. Let's go and see. Here's the fine gentleman in question, and he is, drum roll please. Major General, the Honourable Sir William Glasgow, KCBC, MGD, SOVD, CDG, 1876 to 19. But they did not put in the clue that he was a Major General. I would have, I said by the military uniform, so I think I should get half a point. <laughs> you get a full point because you got it right. Full point. Full well point done. Across the road from the statue where we are is Anzac Square where we had lunch earlier on. And Anzac Square it just happens to be the place where we are heading to next on our scavenger hunt. This is the Anzac Memorial. It has uh, an eternal flame. The flame is kept alight. Um, always. And we've got to head up there and see how many pillars it's got. That's our next challenge. On the walk up to the um, the monument here, there are three sets of stairs. There's a step set down the bottom, and then there are two sets of steps here. And one of the questions, one of the questions on the hunt was, how many steps are there? We counted 37, but when we looked at the answer, there was a lot more significance than that. The first set, there are 19 steps, and then the second set, or the second and third set together, there are 18 steps, meant to represent 1918, 19 and 18, which is when the Great War finished. There you go. Yeah. A lot of thought went into that. It's not yeah. just steps. Okay, so now we're gonna to come to our rating. You know, we like to rate our days out. How would you rate this trip then today? It was a good walk around, to be honest with you. It was, um, it was, it was quite a walk and a few steps and one thing or another. Um, and saw a few of the sights. Uh, I'm only halfway through it. Yeah, it, it, it started off, I was thinking, mm, don't know about this, but then um, yeah, I think it's worth doing. I think it's worth doing for some of the information that you get uh, along the way. So, yeah. I thought it was very, um, very diverse. So we went to the gardens, the botanic gardens, and we saw some historic sites. So they give a real mix up of what you can see in the city. How many thumbs up would you give this one? Or a thumbs up? It gets a thumbs up. Let's go train. So we always like to finish with the sunset. Coming into Roma Street. Oh. 